Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I am Onirjeet and I am here with the first second part of our two part episode about safety in vehicles. Last week we spoke about active safety features in vehicles. To recap on that, active safety features are the ones which continuously monitor the car and supports the driver to drive safe and avoid collisions or accidents. If you haven't watched the episode, make sure you click on the links to watch it right now. Now coming to passive safety features, these features are the ones which help keep the occupants of the vehicle safe and minimizes injury in case of a collision or accident. Let's check them out. The OG, the basic and the most important. The three-point seat belt design which we know now was gifted to the auto world by Volvo and it is standard in any four-wheelers out there. The seat belts are there to hold the occupants securely in place during a sudden deceleration. This helps in avoiding injuries during an accident and saves lives. Hence the entire concept of seat belts have been made mandatory by the law in most countries. In premium segments, we see seat belts equipped with preload tensioners which senses the collision, keeps the occupant firmly in place to further enhance safety. Some cars even have airbags in the seat belts too. Another standard and must have. These bags inflate at the moment of impact and then slowly deflates to save the occupants from head injury. In cars, we see multiple airbag setups. These include curtain airbags, driver knee airbags and side airbags for much better impact absorption. How many airbags deploy depends on the number of occupants in the vehicle, the angle of the crash and its severity. In commuter vehicles, now the number of airbags goes up to 9, but of course it differs in every brand. The minimum mandate by the government is 2 and it's considering increasing that number to 6, which is nothing else but good news. The design and build of the vehicle plays a vital role in safety of the occupants inside. Build quality and safety pretty much goes hand in hand, which is why the GN cap holds build quality and passive safety measures of prime importance in their judgment of safety in vehicles which is globally recognized. The design aspect hold multiple features which support the driver and occupants in an event of an accident. Vehicles are built in a way that there are specific areas of the body that are designed to destruct in order to absorb the maximum impact of a collision. This is a design feature which absorbs the impact firsthand so that the least amount is transferred to the occupants inside. The main cabin which holds the occupants needs a good frame which consists of reinforced doors, roof, pillars and high seating window lines. This minimizes impact on occupants further. In the event of a side crash, the B pillar or the pillar on the side of every vehicle can mitigate the after effects of the crash lowering the damage to the occupants. So if the B pillar is reinforced, it can lower the impact further. After a collision, a well-built vehicle's doors will still open and allow the passengers to walk away to safety. An interesting fact here, in case of sports cars, a lot of them have fancy and unconventional door designs. And these are not at all friendly at the moment of a crash. So to solve this issue, these are often fitted with sensor-actuated explosive charges to blow off the doors in the case of an accident. Pretty bad mobile feels. The windshield no doubt plays a huge role in the safety of a vehicle. The windshield is made of laminated glass, which is a special kind of glass which retains the shape upon impact and doesn't shatter like conventional glass. So this stops the occupants from fatal injuries by glass. However, the rear windshield and side windows are made of tempered glass. Now tempered glass is designed to shatter into many small blunt shards and this helps in clearing these openings for ease of egress 
during an event of an accident and saves occupants from injury and getting stuck inside. Isofix anchors are there in the rear seat of the vehicle which allows you to attach a child seat to the rear ensuring your toddler's safety to the maximum. Still not a standard but we are seeing that this feature is being steadily accepted over all segments. Those were the passive safety features in vehicles and with this we come to a close of our two-part episode on safety in vehicles. I'll see you next week with more facts and insights on automobiles. Till then, hit the like button and subscribe to the ODMAG YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next week.